What's up, YouTube? This is Damon, aka the world's worst magician, and today I'll be bringing you a look at the brand new Full Moon bicycle playing cards from Crooked Kings. Uh, now, this was a Kickstarter campaign, but if there is a link, I will leave it to where you can purchase them now. Um, so, I actually got the uh, limited edition. Let me make sure I'm focusing for you here, which features the werewolf on the front, uh, Full Moon cards with the scratch marks on both sides and then this is the actual backs of the cards and top of the box just says full moon on the inside uh, we do have the scratch marks as well see those make sure I'm focusing there you go uh, so you got the scratch marks and then kinda of their uh, orbital symbol here and this <clears throat> is the uh, the thing you were waiting for so I'm not sure that I can really pick it up on camera but it is a lenticular uh, device on the tuck and this is the world's first lenticular now if you're not familiar with it it's this uh, I don't know if you can hear that it's that uh, old school I would say old school um, kind of a 3d effect um, so with this, basically, as I'm turning it, that's what's actually creating this motion here, if you're not familiar with how lenticular things work. Uh, so I will say that it looks way better for the camera um, than it does in my hand. So uh, I'm actually surprised by that. I'm kind of mesmerized looking at it in the camera because it actually looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. But in my hand, um, it's it's very hard to make out the the different images. Now, him standing up like this looks really good. And then when you start moving it, it's it's actually uh, kind of difficult because you get a little bit of that bleed. If you've ever used lenticular things, that's the problem is when you're... So I'm holding it here so you can kind of see that there's a shadow of the wolf standing up. And then you can see that it's supposed to be just the guy on the ground. Um, so you get a lot of bleed um, from lenticular devices. And that is definitely happening here. Um, so the rest of the tuck is the same except for the back here. Um, so you see this is the special edition. And um, on the inside here, again, we have the claw marks. And then we have the orbital symbol. All right, so you've seen the tucks, and uh, the cards are actually exactly the same, but um, let's get into it. All right, so what we have here is the special edition on the left and the limited edition on the right. And like I said, they are, let me make sure I'm focusing for you but they are exactly the same. Uh, Two-way back, the faces of the cards, everything is exactly the same. I thought that the special edition was supposed to have a different uh, back to it, but uh, I'm getting old and my memory's slipping, so maybe that's not the truth. Um, so I will just step through this deck, and uh, I'm not gonna step through the special edition because like I said, they're exactly the same. So they didn't include uh, any gaff cards, they included a um, advertisement card for their orbiter system and a uh, Crooked Kings, uh, just kind of a About Us card. Uh, both of those do have the back on them, but they are both basically throwaway. Um, they did include two Jokers that are different. Um, now with the Jokers, you'll see that they are symmetrical, uh, meaning when you flip it upside down, it's the exact same image. And then you're gonna notice that for the court cards, uh, they did not do that, they are one-way cards. So the artwork on these, and I want to try to get in here and hopefully my camera can work with me and focus for you, but the artwork on these is why I bought them. I mean, they look really, they basically look like a comic book. Um, so I really appreciate the artwork on these. Um, they did ship late. These were supposed to be received in um, June, <laughs> and it's now almost the end of October. So they did run into some delays. Uh, so this is what I was talking about with the one way. So you have the, the wolf up top, and then if you flip it upside down, you have the person. Make sure that's in focus for you. And, um, you know, all the pip work and everything is uh, fully custom here. So make sure I'm in focus for you, and then I'll just kind of step through these. And they do have, um, in the priority corners, is different than the secondaries there. So just meaning that when you do a fan with these... Um, regular fan versus, uh, I just called the blank fan side, but uh, again, here is the court card of the man versus the wolf. So when you do the fans, um, 
you know, you're going to get a different look depending on which way you do it, which is cool. And, uh, of course, I will show you that here soon. So, yeah, I've purchased um, a few different Kickstarter projects from Crooked Kings. This one, uh, I was a little disappointed in the weight. You know, at being the world's first lenticular uh, case, I guess, just kind of threw things out of whack uh, for them, just in the printing process and that sort of thing. And if you've ever purchased something from Kickstarter, I'm sure you're aware that there are generally always delays. Um, but, you know, they did try to keep us on schedule, let us know what was going on um, with the delays and everything. And then, surprisingly, this just showed up uh, today. And sorry, I'm just kind of flipping these for you, so make sure you get to see both sides of the artwork. And uh, let me know in the comments down below. Have you, I ask this all the time, but have you purchase any cards from Kickstarter or like what was your experience there? Um, mine for the most part have been on time but there have been a couple that are like these where they're like several months after uh, when you expected to get them and uh, you know with playing cards I don't really take it that serious I mean there's a lot of people that kind of get up in arms about it and start giving them a lot of grief. Um, I've only done that for one and it's because the the person just absolutely did not say anything. You know, and then they started pan, uh, playing the blame game, and I, I don't really like that. Take accountability. I mean, it's your product, and sure, somebody else might be causing your delay, but, you know, eat that. <laughs> You're the person creating the cards, right? Just stand up and say, hey, look, man, they're not doing it right now. We're doing our best to get it to you, and uh, that's all I can tell you. That's all I need. And here is that Ace of Hearts. So, <clears throat> the way the cards feel and and move is just great and I'm happy about that because a lot of these if you get the cards that you know have this kind of artwork on them uh, sometimes the focus is put more on the artwork than the actual playing cards and then you get those ones that feel like plastic uh, so this is what I was talking about if you go blank deck side uh, you get that little orbital symbol uh, I might be able to get a tighter fan than that there you go that looks better and yeah, make sure I'm in focus for you so yeah you'll get that and then there is no uh, priority and secondary for the back. Uh, it is a one-way back. Or, I'm sorry, two-way back. <laughs> Jeez, I need some sleep. But, yeah, sorry, two-way back. So, same either way. And it looks nice when you fan it out. And then I'll give you a close-up on that. And then, like I said, uh, the deck in its entirety, as far as the faces and the back of the cards, is exactly the same. Um between the limited edition and the special edition, the uh, main difference here that you're paying for is gonna be, um, and that looks cool if you do like a ribbon spread from up top, but uh, the main difference is just the, the case, or the tuck, I'm sorry. So uh, that's basically what you're paying for there. So the tuck, in my opinion, I'm a little disappointed. Um, you know, I was hoping that it would look better because like I said, I've had a lot of experience with lenticular stuff because I'm old and this used to be something that was super cool. Um, so yeah, for the camera, like I said, it's it's looking good and doing what it's supposed to do. But when you're actually looking at it, like I'm I'm looking at it right now and I almost can't even make out the picture that's on it. But I'm looking at it through my camera and you can like clearly see that wolf standing up. So just to let you know, um, if you have your heart set on this, that in person it may not look as good under this light. Uh, he had his outside. I haven't taken out. I don't take my cards outside <laughs> that much. But he was outside and, you know, it looked okay. So Maybe if you go outside, you'll get a better result. But for now, if you're in between the two of these, I bought these because I felt like there would be a collector's item being the world's first lenticular. But uh, if you just want the cards, I would definitely just go with the limited edition. Uh, so I'll leave a link in the description to where uh, you can pick these up. Um, and I'll leave a link to the Kickstarter campaign just in case a live link isn't up. But yeah, that's, uh, that's everything I got. Uh, again, this has been your look at the Full Moon Bicycle Cards by Crooked Kings. All right, see ya. Well, I hope you liked that review, and if you have any questions, magic tricks, or decks that you want to see reviewed, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, I would greatly appreciate it if you would click that like button and subscribe for any future reviews. All right, see ya.